imagine you're saying to a bald baby, why we have hair and the baby doesn't have hair, and you've immediately given a baby a massive complex. It's actually a deep, deep question. Hi Vogue, I'm Daisy Ridley. Ooh! These are my impossible questions. What we're doing today is I'm being asked some questions, head scratchers, conundrums, but I have been assured are asked in real job interviews for people with <laughs> real jobs. How many apples can fit inside a jumbo jet? <sighs> Loads. Engine, tail. Obviously there's not really things in the tail, but if you think about the amount of space, I'm gonna say 10 million. I don't know if that's like way too low or way too high. Boob. Yeah, I'd say about 10, maybe 12.4 million. What is the one thing you believe to be true but most people do not? Uh, I wouldn't say most people believe they're not true, but I do believe aliens exist for sure. And it is arrogance for us to assume that we're the only like viable intelligent life form in the galaxy. I believe a re reincarnation. Again, a lot of people do believe that. The thing is, I sound like a real arse when I say it, but I joked in school that I thought I was reincarnated from Elizabeth I, obviously not. However, there are certain things that I remember like knowing the answers to, and I was like, how do I know the answers to these things? There are things that they cannot account for, things that people know, experiences they've had, things that they know from 50, 60 years ago. Uh, and that is why I believe in reincarnation. Would you prefer legs as long as your fingers or fingers as long as your legs? Oh my God, I love would you rathers. Legs as long as your fingers or fingers as long as your legs? Probably fingers as long as your legs. Like right now, I might reach that table. I might be able to get a bottle of water just with the dexterity of my leg length fingers. But I would invent leg length gloves. It would be weird though, because I wonder if you only had three, if you only had the three joints, that would actually be quite annoying. Uh, I would still take that though. Yeah, I would rather take leg fingers. When did you last feel like a hero? Uh... Oh, I was driving in the countryside and a stag uh, jumped in front of the car really quickly and it was quite uh, sudden and scary and I slowed down uh, calmly and safely, didn't hit the stag, the stag drove off, I didn't panic and I felt like a hero. What would you do on Mars for fun? Oh my God, what do I do on Earth for fun? Uh, oh my God. Maybe for fun, I would take up biology, collect some samples. I'm not saying that science isn't like incredibly hard work. And I'm not saying people just take it up for fun. No shade on scientists. Now I feel like I've like shaded the entire scientific community. What you do is amazing. I'm in awe of what you do. Well, actually, on this note, I watched Total Recall for the first time a couple weeks ago. Loved it, original Arnie. And what do they do for fun? Party, meet some people, make some underground caves so you can live without a oxygen machine. Hang out, you know, uh, with other people and have a nice time. Sell me a ping pong ball in a world where table tennis doesn't exist. So what you're looking at is a small round device. I know you don't know what I'm talking about because ping pong doesn't exist, but ping pong is about to exist. And it's about to exist because you, who is going to purchase a ping pong ball, is going to invent ping pong. It's gonna sweep this universe as it did the other universe where it exists already. The ball can fit in your purse, purse first. Um, it's light, easy to carry around, an inexpensive way of having loads of fun. Just with the ball, you don't even need to play ping pong. It's an investment that will be the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Write the opening line to a theme tune about your life. Oh my God. Uh... 
there was a girl. And that's the first line because they're really short lines. Tell us your favourite joke. Oh, I'm just so bad at jokes. Okay, I'm going to recycle a joke I just heard on Drag Race because it's my new favourite thing and it seems to be being said a lot on Drag Race. And I'm pretty sure Rosé said it on Drag Race this week. And I can't remember who she was talking about, but she said... Oh, what did she say? Such and such did such a great job in Snatch Game is something I would never say. Classic, easy, well delivered. I didn't deliver it well, but Rosé did. If the Animal Kingdom elected a new leader, which animal would get your vote and why? It would always be an elephant. They are incredibly sympathetic and empathetic animals. They are big in stature, so they already hold a physical gravitas. They like surround the mum to protect the mum when she's giving birth. And I think that's really, really beautiful. They're fairly calm, super intelligent, can be obviously very vicious when in heat. I feel like they have all of the makings of great leaders. Explain the internet to an eight-year-old in three sentences. Click, click, type, type, fast news. Teach me something I don't already know. Uh, oh, something you might not know. I did a doula course last year. Epidurals started when a doctor injected cocaine into somebody's spine. That is where epidurals started. In a final battle between the four elements, which side would you fight on and why? Earth, wind, fire, water, water. And again, without fire, you'd be so cold. And I'm like a fire sign in terms of like star sign. Oh my God, interesting. I would say I was going water and I was away from fire. Maybe earth, grounding, solid, uh, consistent earth. I changed my mind, it's earth. Yeah, I feel like I didn't even give like wind a chance. Sell mascara on an alien planet where no one has eyelashes. Okay, alien planet. Let's call you Plupita. Um, no one has eyelashes, but those of us on Earth who use this thing that you might be interested in buying are creating a spaceship that's going to reach Plupita. And we're going to start having holidays for Earthlings on Plupita. Now, mascara is not an essential. It's not a necessity. But when people come and visit Plupita, they might want that fun luxury item. They might think, oh, I want to hit up that like top bar on Plupita. And I want my eyelashes to be fleeky, de fleeks. So I'm going to need some mascara. And they go, oh my God, I forgot my mascara. You would have the monopoly on selling mascara on Plupita. Tell me three consecutive days without using the words Wednesday, Friday, or Sunday. I know how to do this. So I've been doing Duolingo for 321 days. And I can say lundi, mardi, mercredi, which technically isn't using the words Wednesday, Friday, or Sunday, but I'm giving you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in French with a terrible French accent. Explain to a baby why you have hair. We have hair to protect the vulnerable parts of our bodies, those that need to retain heat in order for us to survive long time. Nice hair. The babies I meet are really smart. They understand every single word. But then it's quite hard because then you think, well, imagine if the baby didn't have hair. If you do have hair, because some people don't, uh, yeah, see, it's moral. What about people that don't have hair? Now I feel awful and like I've told a child wrong information. This is why I'm not a parent. Do you open with rock, paper or scissors? Explain your technique. I don't have a consistent thing that I open with. I'd say probably I'm drawn to paper. Rock is beaten by paper, paper's beaten by scissors and scissors beaten by rock. I would say usually I would go for paper because I think a lot of the time other people go for rock. There's no real technique, it's just an assumption. 
And what does assuming do? Make an arse out of you and me. <laughs> it's probably not the best way to go into rock, paper, or scissors. I've never thought about that intensely, to be honest. When I leave this room, I'm gonna think about this. I'm gonna ponder it. And maybe I'll instigate some Zoom, rock, paper, scissors with people. But I would say it's a really responsive game. I'm really like responding to the other person. So I would say that the technique is to try and get a sense of what the other person's gonna go for. Are we gonna play rock, paper, scissors? One, two, three, go. Okay, draw. One, one. One, two, three, scissors. What did you do? Scissors. Okay, one more, one more. No! Shison. Yeah, you won. So I got no technique whatsoever. Think of your own impossible question. How many freckles do I have on my face? Skincare is real. Wear SPF, please. We were just discussing the difference between it, freckles and sun damage. Please wear SPF. But also, how many freckles do I have on my face? Uh, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Uh, um, oh my god. Uh, uh, uh. Is that the right answer? Nice. Hi Vogue, I'm Daisy Ridley. To watch more videos, subscribe here.